Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to my best fly pattern for cold salmon, for spring salmon, and for pink salmon. I tied this fly about uh, six years ago when I first time doing fly fishing in the Chilliwack River, and I caught one jacket spring and one wild coho and one pink on the display this display is roll roll it modeler it's very simple and very effective it's short choose color it's all salmon love to bite this fly always always i have uh, this fly in the, my fly box now i make ready for season fly fishing for season i tie some for pink salmon and also i tie roll modeler you see here i want to tie more because this is my best fly ever i use for salmon especially for coho and also pink and spring too okay i use hook streamer number eight i use this number because um, for a small river is a salmon love to bite the small fly you, you 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 can use a big fly for big river in the north but when you fish the lower mainland small river i recommend tie the smaller fly St streamer number eight And also I use a gold bead. I use the mallard, it's short shoes color. And I use the tinsel for body and silver wire. And flash okay let's go tie This is a good opportunity to use this fly because when you fly fishing for this season, especially this season, we have a pink drawn. When you fishing for pink, why not? You have a chance to catch the coho. I use a black unit thread, but you can use the green one. At the moment, I don't have any green color while I use the black, but that's it. First step, make the tail. I take the very small piece of the malar and use the tips for tail. I tried this fly in the Chilliwack River last year. I got lots of coho. And also I used in the Squamish River, I got lots of pink in the Squamish. After 
tail we're going for wire and secure the wire in the shank hook we're going for tinsel always tinsel have a two color on the side one side always silver and on the other side always gold i i use a silver side for this hook this fly Now, tinsel time, wrap on the shank. After that, wrap the wire. Wire make flies look good and also secure the tinsel. When you casting or when fish bite, this wire make your flies more stronger. Never use your scissors for cut the wire. This is my experience after broken my lots, my scissors. Why I use the plier? <laughs> it's more safe. Okay, after that, we time to tie some flash. Don't need to use too much. Just maybe six or seven or eight. Sometimes I tie the display, I never use the flasher. But this time I use the flasher. Okay. Take some. Mallard for wing. This mallard is good size for wing. Take the one side, and if you if you're using like that, look at you have a curve. But if you you take the one side, remove the all feathers from one side, it doesn't have any more curve. I remove the one side the fly feathers fiber from the feathers you, know, you see that and Now time to tie the deer hair. Also I have a short source deer hair for most part of the fly. It's not very hard. Take the bunch of the deer hair and cut it. I use a Deer hair stacker for make the tips even because when you when you tie the deer hair under your flood you need your tips even as make your flies more beautiful okay now 
now look at tap in the screen look at how even put the deer her and the fly and this is the important very little bit the tips going down and cover the all bead because when you tie the line around the deer hair you want to make more pretty if you're not doing that part of the hook doesn't have any deer hair always i cut some deer hair here now because make more easier when i try to wrap the deer hair on the hook always i'm doing the one wrap two wrap and stacks this fly almost done just need to trim the deer hair You need to cut most deer hair on the hook because it's especially coho don't like their flies too bushy. This is the fun part. about eight or nine years ago i went to fly shop in the vancouver my fly shop and i tell the one guy worker there and tell i tell him i need some fly for fishing for coho or anything bite this one guy recommend me this fly and when he gave me this fly to me i tell him why is this fly so small I want to do the spay, I need the bigger fly. He told me this time in the year, most salmon bite the small fly. After that, I went to river and try couple casts. I cut coho and say, okay, this is work good. Why I use the number eight? Number eight hook. Okay, almost ready. You can see it's more trim here. More trim here. Yeah, it's ready. You can see my fly. And also, I I tied another one. beautiful now i have a two more for my flybacks this is my flybacks for 
salmon fishing for this season. I just tied uh, so much pink because I love to go to for pink salmon, squamish. And also if you want to watch the how tied this fly is ready in the, my YouTube channel. You can search and go down and see it. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.